Go ahead. Admit it. Your marriage isn't everything you expected it to be, is it? But that's okay. That doesn't mean that it can't someday be all that you hoped it would. We all enter marriage with a pie-in-the-sky dream of what it will be like. And then we find we married someone who is more different from us than we thought. But marriage isn't really about the final destination, the happily ever after with the person of our dreams. It's about the journey, the getting there, the walking together, enjoying the adventure en route to our final destination. Living life with another person is all about making adjustments, dealing with delays, realizing you're not in control, and having to, at times, just make the best of it. We've been married long enough to be able to say that life with the opposite sex is certainly not predictable or routine. With all the journeying we've done, we've learned to laugh at incidents that should be predictable by now. Delays, missed connections, lost items, annoying people, and so on. We have yet to see a marriage that runs exactly as planned. Marriage can be as enjoyable or as miserable as we choose it to be. In spite of unexpected delays, missed opportunities, and unexpected trouble, marriage can be a wonderful trip if you're willing to make the choice each day. We shouldn't try to jump off when there's a problem. Rather, we're committed to sticking to it in this God-ordained union. So, if you long for your marriage to be the best it can be, and you want to enjoy the trip, then buckle up, pay attention, and be, be ready, ready to, to learn, learn a new, new dance. dance.